Hey, good looking. We need to talk. So makeup setting sprays with SPF in them have been known to add additional protection during the summer months and outside of the summer months for your makeup. And today I'm going to be bringing you four SPF sprays that don't work over your makeup. So if that sounds like something that you like, stick around. So this is kicking off my season of makeup setting sprays with SPF in them. That's kind of where the sunscreen comes in with single eyeshadows, makeup brushes that aren't Morphe and sunscreen. So today I'm going to be going over the four SPF makeup setting sprays that I purchased intending to try out and they didn't work for whatever reason. So we'll go into them today. And the first one is one that is already featured on last year's um, season of makeup SPF setting sprays and that's the Bobo Botanical Sheer Zinc Sunscreen. I was trying to find a broad spectrum SPF that didn't contain avobenzone because for some people avobenzone is a um, an allergen for them or it creates a lot of issues with their skin. Mm -mm -mm. But I thought that maybe I would try this sheer zinc formula. So this has zinc oxide in it. It's a physical sunscreen. It also covers your UVA protection, which is what the chemical form of avobenzone, that's what it um, protects. Unfortunately, this was a huge miss. I'm gonna go ahead and link that video in the eye for you guys, and you can go check it out. But it was a huge, huge miss because it, it just didn't, um, it just leaves a white cast. So we'll go ahead and do swatches on my arms and you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and, there we go. Oh yeah, see that? Definitely, definitely did not make the mark on that one. Okay, the next makeup setting spray, or excuse me, it's marketed as an SPF, uh, spray SPF, and um, I thought it would be nice to try incorporate as a makeup setting spray, but unfortunately it didn't work. And that is the Banana Boat Simply Protect Kids uh, 50 Plus, the UVA UVB Broad Spectrum SPF. And that right here is um, one. I try a lot of the kids versions because the kids generally leave out the fragrance. And they're just the same as the non-children's version, but they don't put the fragrance in it they omit that so that's really nice but this one and I barely have any left because we did end up using it last season but um let me see if I can get it to spray there you go it leaves a white cast now this is chemical sunscreen it has the avobenzone in it the homosalate the oxalate and octocrylone and so it is a chemical sunscreen but for whatever reason the formula underneath you know the binding formula underneath leaves a white cast so that is going to be on my list of makeup setting sprays that don't work over your makeup because many of these are marketed as sunscreens and not makeup setting sprays they do have the intentions that you are going to rub them in so that's probably more along the lines of what this is for and it is a kid's formula so it's probably designed to show you exactly where you've applied the sunscreen and so then you know you have good coverage because of the nature of sprays we know that we lose a lot to the environment so that's really helpful to know this kind of stuff however when you're applying it over makeup you can't really rub it in or you'll rub off your makeup so unfortunately that's going to be a miss the next one that i thought i was going to purchase and try out for you guys is the elta md skincare uv aero broad spectrum spf this is a continuous spray it's transparent zinc oxide and uva uvb protection so this was supposed to contain zinc oxide and octanoxate and be a formula that is sheer over the skin and not leave a white cast however that's not the case let me just yeah not the case here if you rub it in you can see that it does begin to go away so it would be a great formula to use as a makeup or as a sunscreen but you can't use it as a makeup setting spray unfortunately I'm gonna have to wipe some of these off because we I think we've only got one more but I don't know if I have enough room do I have enough room yeah let's go ahead and wipe it off okay the last one and I really wanted this to work folks the last 
SPF or excuse me spray SPF that I purchased hoping that it could double as a makeup setting spray with SPF in it is the La Roche Posay Enthelio 60 ultralight sunscreen lotion spray it looks like this comes in a spray bottle I know I think I spent around $45 for this one or it might have been 35 and this one was 45 these are both recommends from dermatologists these formulas don't contain anything in them that is very like um, skin like that could cause skin sensitivity so I thought I would buy that and try it over my makeup for some of you folks that have really sensitive skin however this ended up being a miss as well this is exactly how it shows up on the skin now I got a little over there too this has nothing but chemical sunscreens in it so there's a good chance that we're probably going to find a lot of misses in our sunscreens. But this right here, no, I tried it several times. I tried layering it lightly and even when you rub it in, it still leaves a white cast. Why it leaves a white cast, I have no idea. I'm assuming it must be some of the um, matrix that is in. Yeah, I just, I don't know. It just doesn't work, folks. I tried it several times over my makeup. I ended up looking like Casper the Ghost. So there you have it. That is four makeup setting sprays with SPF that you don't have to purchase because I already did and found that they didn't work. I think that's just going to be part of the nature of the beast because these aren't marketed as makeup setting sprays. They're marketed as spray SPFs. So I think we're probably going to come across quite a few of them, but I am more than happy to do this opening series for you. Okay, next up, um, I will be featuring these two, the Sport Sunscreen SPF, and its sister is the kids version. It's the exact, exact same formula, has all the same ingredients and in the same order, except this one has fragrance and this one doesn't. So I'll probably just go ahead and do this one for you guys. So this will be next and we'll be starting that series. So thank you guys so much. If you found value in this content, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below before you leave. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.